But first, dropping off that bag of trash on the side of the road in Tuscaloosa County could soon cost you. That's because the county commission is considering taking action against what they call illegal dumping. Officials say the most common issue is litter on the side of the road. County commissioners saying some residents are throwing trash out of their car windows, leaving trash bags in ditches and throwing appliances out all across the county. Tuscaloosa County Probate Judge Hardy McCollum says this is all illegal. The county commission says it's an eyesore that needs to be dealt with, and McCollum says the solution starts at home. And if, if more people would take that individual responsibility on for their sales to ensure that they're not, uh, that they are properly disposing of, of their trash, their cup container, or the hamburger box, the sack, the napkin, and make sure that's properly disposed of, we could, it would, it would go miles and miles in solving this issue. Anna McCollum says that the commission will hold more discussions before they take any action. And meanwhile, Old Man Winter certainly making his presence known today. That's for sure. If you stepped outside, you may have felt a chilly wind. We found these folks fighting the cold in Tuscaloosa, and there are even chillier temperatures on the way tonight. So what are the chances that you might see some snow or even more sleet, as we saw this afternoon? For the latest now on what you can expect, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Hello, Richard. Hey, Philip and Lynn, good Monday evening to you. Still a lot of sleet happening out there, mainly north of Highway 80 over Sumter, Green, Hale County, Perry Counties, and points north. And there have been a couple of snowflakes in the mix, but no issues on the roads. And that is good news. Temperatures are well above freezing right now. And all this activity stretches back towards Jackson, Mississippi. Most of this is changing over to just a good old fashioned moderate rain, and that will gradually spread from west to east through tonight. Temperatures could have fall to about 37 degrees on average. We'll go towards 7 and 10 o'clock tonight. Sleet is likely through 10 o'clock tonight. Then we just go to an old fashioned rain late tonight. In fact, temperatures actually rise after around 10 o'clock back up to 39. What about the rest of that forecast, though? And the weekend forecast, more unsettled weather to talk about. Your forecast is coming up. Thank you, Richard. And when the temperature dips, the heating bills go up. They do, and that can put the squeeze on budgets for people already struggling to make ends meet. But the good news is you can help. Temporary emergency services officials say they're accepting monetary donations to help with high utility bills. All you have to do is drop your donation off by their office or in the mail. They're also accepting donations of heaters, also blankets. If you'd like more information on how to help, give them a call. 205-758-5535 or you can mail your donation 1705 15th Street Tuscaloosa 35401. WVUA is covering Perry County where a new disaster relief center is now open. Officials say it's to help those affected by the January storms. Relief for individuals and families can include grants for rental assistance, home repairs, low interest loans from the Small Business Administration. This new center is located at 1200 Washington Street in Marion. That's in the Perry County Chamber of Commerce building. It's open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. And for more information, you can call 1-800-621-FEMA or go to our website, wvuatv.com. Click on Numbers and Links. The countdown is on to Valentine's Day. This year, you can order flowers for your special someone and lend a helping hand at the same time. How about that? The Tuscaloosa Flower Shop is hosting a fundraiser called Hearts on Fire. Proceeds will benefit the Arts and Autism Program. It's an after-school program for children with autism. Owner Sarah Morrison told WVA it's the second year for the fundraiser. Last year they raised more than $3,000. Well, these programs really offer a lot of therapy and things that these kids need that they wouldn't get otherwise. So, I mean, it's really important that we stand up and support these kids. For more information about Hearts on Fire for Arts and Autism, call 205-758-3065 or you can go to WVUATV.com and look under Numbers and Links. Valentine's Day is one of the biggest days of the year for florists. These days, customers have more than just the flower shop down the street to choose from. 
local businesses are not only competing with each other, they're also going up against the internet for competition there. Jill Parsons with Pat's Flores told WVUA, buy or beware. She says if you choose to buy online, you're taking a chance on what you'll actually receive. Owner Darren Cross says it's also easier to buy locally because they do all the work for you. You know, I would hope most people would want to buy locally here if they can in Tuscaloosa. Um, and, you know, ours are arranged in a vase already. You don't have to arrange them yourself or sometimes in the other that you do. You, you know, it just comes with a vase and in the box and then you arrange yourself. So it's, it's all in what the consumer wants. They might be a person that might like the design, but we can do it either way. So. And Cross also says that if you have to put off shopping for your Valentine until that last minute, he says they still have gifts for your loved one. In other news, Whitney Houston's death sent shockwaves around the world. Since Saturday, they have been mourning the loss of the Queen of Pop. And here in West Alabama, fans have been buying up her music. According to manager of Oz Music, Jason Patton, ever since that news broke, Houston's CDs have nearly sold out. Patton saying as soon as the news of Houston's death was confirmed, he called his distributor and ordered more copies of her hits. Patton says within three hours, his distributor had sold out of copies. Doc Upshaw, who works at Oz Music, told us they've been busy filling orders for special requests. And I think we've probably done about 25 to 30 orders uh, of her, of her, out of her catalog today. Um, I mean, we've, like I said, we've had people coming in every five minutes looking for her stuff. So she's been in very much high demand. Patton told WVUA the new shipment of Houston CD should arrive by Tuesday. He says it will include Houston's greatest hits and her first two albums.